Welcome to our separate automation testing tutorial. Today's topic is handling multiple browser windows. If you are working with a Cypress and need to handle multiple browser windows, such as opening a new window and a switch between them, Cypress does not support multiple tabs or windows directly. However, you can work around this limitation use different approaches. Solution 1 Step the Window Open method. Since Surprise run in a single browser tab, you can intercept and control the behavior of new windows. Here is the code. This is a stable open a new window. And here is a get the link, click and get a tap the text in the text area. Solution 2. Use a surprise visitor function instead of a new window. If a new window is just open a URL, you can capture that URL and navigate to it manually. This is the code. You see here is a link, golf course. Get this link, uh, pass this link URL to the visitor function. Solution 3. Work with target equal underscore black links. If clicking a link opens a new tab, remove the target equal underscore blank attribute before clicking. This is the code. You say get this link before the click, remove the target. Switch back to original window. Since Cypress does not truly support multiple windows, the best way to switch back is to store the initial URL and navigate back to it. Here is the code. You see, this is original URL. And visit a new URL and switch back original URL. Handling cross-origin domains in Cypress. By default, Cypress enforces the same origin policy, meaning it does not allow navigation between the different domains within a single test. However, in real-world applications, you may need to test the scenarios when the user interrupts with the multiple domains. Cypress introduced Cypress origin function to handle cross origin navigation. Here is the origin function. Here is original domain. And the web this function so can do one is a, a check the title, one is a tap something in the search box. First, look at the website we will use it for testing. There are two links in the web page. Click the link will open the new windows. First test, click web elements link. You see here is the web elements page. We want to test something in the text area. This is one test. Another test, click this link, golf courses, open another window. You see here, we want to search something in the search box. Okay, let's start for the coding. Here is the coding. First, we just directly click the link, open a new window. 
for click the link is the web elements. So I run the test. You see, test can open the new window web elements, but the page get the cross original error. So you can see here, error is cross original error. So we we can back for the code. See so what we can we just comment on this one and use method we. Learning. Why is the solution one? We will just get the solution one open and see what we can do. Okay, this solution one is the user stable window open. We run the test. We continue running. Yeah, you see, this is solution one. We back for the code. I want like uh, use this open window. Also, I use origin function to wrap the comments comment for run a test. So I just add this like get a text area. Tap something in the text area. You see, success of running, we use the origin function and uh, also we can tap something in this text area. Then we use the solution to use the visitor function. You say use uh, sol solution to visitor function. First one, we get the link, click the link, then pass. Here is you see, I check the title, still the, uh, is the, like, a, when, when to get this one, and the title is a change, not a local, is for the, uh, ad, 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 admin Lucent, and, uh, get the search box and tap something in it. Okay, this is a solution. Two, we go. We see the code for the solution three. This one is the first 
click the link, remove the target, I check the title, uh, page title, then I use origin function, this origin domain, then check the title again and type scale golf course in the search box. You see successfully running. So first one, I visit the local host, then get the link, go for course and click the link, click link. Then I check the title. You see title, this page is a new page, but the title still uh, previous local host title. Then wait a second use origin function web. So this time we check the title again. You see title is a new page title. Then get in import search box you see here and type scale golf course in the search box. So return is just a scale golf course. So this is a solution three. A lot of code is a switch back original window. You see here is a visitor. This uh, first we define the original URL. This is no co host, and then use this visitor function. Uh, use this URL function and the visitor new URL, and uh, this is user web function and uh, find the, the page title and uh, uh, type uh, golf course to search, then switch back origin URL. You see here is a visitor, use this visitor, then original uh, function, log this page, you see this page is uh, here, and uh, tap something in the search box, and get search is return the results, and then switch back the region URL. We can use the three solutions to open new windows. Use origin function to web comments that make those comments run successfully in the new windows. If you like our video, please hit like and subscribe to follow updates. Thank you. See you next time.